Hey guys, if you use Printful, which I happen to love, it's an awesome print on demand company, but if you happen to use them and use their mock-up generator, perhaps you have noticed that sometimes when you save your mock-ups as a PNG, they might show up with a black background in your store listing, okay? And you won't see it <laughs> until you bring it into the store listing, especially in like Etsy. I've totally noticed it in Etsy. Somebody recently asked me a question on, I believe it was one of my other Printful tutorials, mentioning that she thought she may have done something wrong. You know, why do her transparent background mock-up photos have a black background when she brings them into her Etsy store? She didn't do anything wrong. This happens, I actually don't know why it happens. I have looked it up and it has to do with, I don't know, some type of way, I guess the computer recognizes whatever coding, I don't know. That's troubleshooting that is way beyond my scope of skills. However, I can show you what to do about it, okay? So we're gonna get right into it. One minute and change in. I am on the Printful mockup generator here, okay? If you have not used Printful's mockup generator, I will direct you to a video that I have created showing you exactly how to use it. In the meantime, we are here right now and whether you are using any kind of design program, whether it's iPicky or Photo P or even Printful's built-in t-shirt designing or merch designing, um, you know, elements here. It doesn't matter. It's all going to turn out the same. Okay, so I just went ahead and I threw some words here. We'll work for kombucha. And guys, kombucha is pretty good stuff. It's good for the gut. Um, so yeah, I probably would work for it. But anyway, what we're going to do here, simple design. I'm just going to go ahead and generate the files. Okay. So as you can see here, you've got a bevy of different uh, backgrounds, all right? For the sake of this video, we are only going to talk about the ones that have a white background here, okay? Because anything that has a, like a staged scene, you know, it's this isn't gonna matter for stuff like that. All right, so we'll choose maybe this one and then some kind of a flat lay mock-up, all right? And we'll go ahead, save the print file also. Now, if I save it as a PNG, that is going to have the transparent background. So I do recommend if you think you're going to take some of this stuff and create mockups out of your mockups, that is a great idea. However, if you're gonna send them right to your store, what you wanna do in this case, and you'll avoid the black background situation altogether, save it as a JPEG, okay? You generate the files, all right? You will download them, save them into the computer. Okay, so if you save them as a PNG, what's gonna happen when you go to your Etsy store, it's gonna look like that. When you bring the listing photo in, this is exactly what it's gonna look like, okay? However, I have also saved this exact same um, mock-up as a JPEG, so where are we? Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that in and you can see it here, you can see it's a white background. We're gonna bring that in and that's what it looks like, okay? So from the get-go, if you know you're just going to take these mock-up photos that Printful is offering you, save them as a JPEG as well, okay? Or just save them as a JPEG if they're the only ones you're gonna use. You can save them with as a PNG if you're going to make a mock-up out of your mock-up. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, if you were to go to Canva, and that's a free designing software, and you created, let's just say you wanted to do maybe a special, you know, first photo, okay, listing photo as the very first thumbnail, okay? You would do maybe a 2,000, because they like the 2,000 pixels wide by 1,500 maybe in height, create a new design, and then what you can do, this is where your transparent images would come in handy, okay? Let's just say, and I might actually create a whole video on how to do something like this. You have access to places like Pexels and Pixabay right from Canva, but let's just say we go perhaps with like a wooden background, all right? Just right, I'm just gonna choose the first thing. Actually, no, let's not, let's not go with that. Go with something that has a little more contrast, okay? Spend it, all right. I had already taken the liberty of uploading a couple of these in. So this is where something like 
this would come in handy. This is why a transparent background would be kind of cool. Okay. So like I said, I will probably create a video if I haven't done it already, because sometimes I lose track. But if I haven't done it already, perhaps I'll create a video just showing you how to use free tools to create some of your own mock-ups. Okay. Because it is a cool thing to do if you're on a tight budget and you can't afford or just aren't at a place right now where you can start buying t-shirt mock-ups, okay? We've all got to save where we can. So again, this is where your transparent background would come in. Now, let's just say you already downloaded the PNG files of your mock-ups and you don't want to have to go back there and go through that whole process again just to make them into JPEGs. What you would do here, because they're all square, so you would change this to a square design, 2000 by 2000, create a new design, okay? And that same transparent background picture that we brought in, okay? We're just gonna extend them to the full length of right here, all right? And we would name it, okay? T-shirt guy kombucha. And, well, I'm doing great with that. All right. I didn't take typing in school, guys. I taught myself as I went along as an adult. <laughs> so probably should have taken taping when I was in high school. Anyway, then you would save it as a JPEG. Okay? You can download it. And then I'll just show you. I mean... This isn't exactly rocket science, but this is, no, that's not it. This is the brand new one. You can see the way I had just titled it. So this is the brand new one and it uploaded beautifully. And as you can see here, okay, so you have these little triangles. So nothing bad is gonna happen if you bring your printful mockups in as the size they are. All right, you'll be able, they'll still make nice listing photos, but according to Etsy, they're, they're still going to bring you that little triangle and tell you that it's not really big enough. Notice how when I made this one 2,000 by 2,000 pixels, that is not there, okay? So there you have it, guys. That is how you do away with the dark background um, when you save a PNG transparent image from one of your printful mockups. Those are two ways to go about it. Okay, the first way is dealing with it at the front end before you download anything. And then the second way is if you've already downloaded them, just go ahead, convert them into JPEGs in Canva, re-download them and bring them into your store and you are good to go. Guys, I hope you found that helpful. You can also use Printful's um, integration tool. I mean, if you have integrated your store into Etsy, you can certainly choose what you would want to do is go through the integration process and what you would do there is probably choose JPEGs. They'll give you a few that you can send to your store, all right? At least one in multiple colors, and then they'll usually give you another one with like one color. In that case, go with the JPEG, all right? But what I'll do is link to a video where Printful's integration with Etsy, you know, they'll walk you through it because they do a great job at it. And then you can always do it that way as well, okay? That's how you do it, guys. I hope you found this helpful. And if you guys have questions about stuff and I have the answer to it, then I will probably create a video answering your question, okay? If you like stuff like this, please feel free to check out the channel, subscribe, maybe like it and share it with other people you think this would benefit. And I hope you guys are doing well. And until next time, take care.